Hello, I'm Dr. John White, Chief Medical Expert at Discovery Channel. Telemedicine may not only be an effective way to address the shortage of pediatric and cardiac intensivists around the world, but it may also increase access to care for patients outside the United States. Dr. Ricardo Munoz of Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC recently published a study that concluded the use of telemedicine in pediatric cardiac intensive care is not only feasible, but also effective. Telemedicine is a way to solve uh, uh, the problem of uh, staff around the world in cardiac critical care. Uh, we are very few physicians even uh, board certified in uh, specialties in pediatrics, critical care and cardiology in the United States and the around the world is a major significant problem. Telemedicine allows uh, every single doctor or patient to get uh, in contact with a highly trained physician at any place or any institution uh, around the world. We started with uh, having an agreement with an institution in Cali, Colombia. It's called uh, Fundacion Valle Lili. And um, we have an agreement to help them to train physicians and to help them also to develop certain programs. One of the programs was uh, pediatric cardiovascular. And um, instead of using the phone calls all the time and having physicians all the time coming here to the States, uh, telemedicine allowed us to uh, deliver a continued medical education with them and to see patients from a distance and given more accurate advice. We were able to talk to the physician in the cardiac intensive care unit in Cali, Colombia. We were able to see the patients. We were able to review echocardiograms. We were able to review chest x-rays and all important or relevant clinical information. And then we were able to give a very precise advice uh, regarding the patient management. Because this is a new technology, this is a new way to practice medicine, and especially it's a new way to practice medicine internationally, we needed to prove that if this technology is really beneficial or not. So the only way to do it, and scientifically to prove it, was to do a, a study, and that's why we decided to uh, accomplish a study in Cali, Colombia. The experiences that we have had uh, on, with this program uh, at this point is very successful. There was a significant reduction in mortality and morbidity after uh, our telemedicine intervention. And now we have a formal discussions with them and formal sessions of telemedicine. From Monday to Friday, we have one hour of telemedicine session. We want to help physicians to develop the same set of skills that we have so they can provide continuous and improving their care. And it's important to mention that because we don't have license to practice medicine around the world, the physicians were able to take or reject our advices. But most of the time, based on the study that we published, they were following our recommendations. Every single patient that is around the world that needs an advice regarding our field, they can get it. This technology is feasible, is safe, and based on our experience, there is a great benefit for patient care. Doctors at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC believe telemedicine can positively impact the delivery of care to cardiac patients. They have now expanded their telemedicine program to include additional institutions.